Our solar system is located in an outer spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy. It was formed about four and a half billion years ago, and it currently consists of the Sun and everything bound to it by gravity. These are the eight planets that we are most familiar with. In addition to dwarf planets such as Pluto, dozens of moons, and millions of asteroids, comets, and meteoroids. But our home was not the same place billions of years ago. The solar system as we know it began as a gigantic, swirling cloud of gas and dust, aimlessly twisting through the universe without direction or form. It passed through different stages of formation. Four and a half billion years ago, the dense cloud of interstellar gas and dust collapsed, possibly due to the shockwave of a nearby exploding star. This is what scientists call the primal supernova. When this dust cloud collapsed, it formed a solar nebula. A solar nebula is a spinning, swirling disk of material with massive gravity pulling more and more material into the center. Eventually, the pressure in the core was so great that hydrogen atoms began to combine and form helium. This reaction released a tremendous amount of energy, and our sun was born. About 99.9% .9 of the material fell into the middle of the cloud and became the sun. Once the center became extremely hot and dense enough, it launched a nuclear fusion reaction. Then, visible light flooded the solar system for the first time. The 0.1% of matter that remained orbited around the sun, causing this randomly shaped gas cloud to form a flat disk shape. This flat disk, also known as the protoplanetary disk, was where the planets formed. Matter was clumping together farther out in the disk, with clumps smashing into one another, forming larger and larger objects. As this disk rotated around the sun, it began to cool and form different types of material. Near the sun, the temperature was very high, so minerals and metals formed. And on the edge of the disk, far away from the heat of the sun, less volatile solids like ice and ammonia formed. Some of these objects grew big enough for their gravity to shape them into spheres. This is also when our planet was formed. Studies have shown that the oldest known rocks on the Earth formed 4.4 billion years ago. Other planets, dwarf planets, and large moons were formed. Leftover pieces became asteroids, comets, meteoroids, and small irregular moons. Many of these rocks orbit the Sun in an area between Mars and Jupiter known as the Asteroid Belt. The biggest, Ceres, has a diameter of nearly 960 kilometers, or 600 miles. Our solar system extends much further than the eight planets. It also includes the Kuiper Belt that lies beyond Neptune's orbit. This is a sparsely occupied ring of icy bodies. The most popular Kuiper Belt object is the dwarf planet Pluto. There is also a possibility that our solar system might have a ninth planet that may exist in the outer region of the solar system. This hypothetical planet is not easy to spot because it's hidden under a bright strip of stars in our Milky Way galaxy. Beyond the edges of the Kuiper Belt is the Oort Cloud, orbiting our Sun as far as 1.6 light years away. This giant spherical shell surrounds the solar system. Although it has never been directly observed, its existence is predicted based on mathematical models and observations of comets that likely originate there. How do you think space exploration can help us learn more about our world? Share your thoughts in the comment section.